hey guys welcome back to another video how y'all doing how is the virus treating y'all i hope you are being safe keeping distance you know all of that good stuff now this tutorial is actually a recreation of petite petite sue divinity makeup tutorial um it was a while back i think it was in last year i saw a picture um her instagram and i said i'm gonna recreate the look so i'm actually getting around to do the look now so yeah so right now i'm just filling in my brows i will do an updated brow routine soon and very soon guys yeah so i'm just cleaning up cleaning up my brows now <laughs> Um, I use my foundation at the top parts of my brows and at the bottom I use a light concealer So now I'm priming my eyes with the LA girl pro conceal in It's actually the yellow corrector. I use this one because it's lighter and it will make my shadows pop more So I'm just putting that on and then I'm going to blending blend it out on my lids so yeah i'm just doing all of that good stuff i love how this look came out it was bomb so i'm using the zulu palette for this look um this one i realized don't come with names so i just point at the ones that i'm using and i'm taking the yellow one the yellow shade as my transition color so i'm putting that in my crease first so i'm just blending that in my crease and a little bit above my crease so i'm just building up that color right now it's always good to use a fluffy brush for your crease it will spread the eyeshadow more and you don't have to use a lot of product this way if you have a fluffy eyeshadow brush so now I'm going in with the orange shade in that palette and I'm putting that in the inner corner of my eye so I'm blending it, blending it from the inner corner to the center of my eye yeah and I was actually listening to some music while I'm recording i always do that just because it puts me in a vibe you know yeah so i'm just bending that all nicely so that when i do add my other shades you will still see the orange which is what i'm trying to do so uh, um i went off camera and i did one eye so now i'm gonna do the other eye and i'm going to show you the shades that i'm going to use right now so I'm taking the light pink shade in the inner part of my eye the brighter pink in the middle and the blue at the outer part of my eye but what happened was when i was doing the first eye some purple caught in it some purple was on the brush so it kind of gave the outer parts of my eye a deep deep shade so i had to do that to this eye as well you see it further down in the video so i put on the lighter pink the lighter pink is actually a shimmer shimmer shade so i put that in the inner part of my eye then i'm using the matte pink shade in the center blending that out and also blending both shades together in each other so that there will be no harsh lines so yeah right here i'm just blending both of them together then i'm gonna go in with the blue at first the blue wasn't coming up but you know it can always build the 
the shades so and my son giving trouble he was too close to where i was recording so it was the camera was kind of shaking so you know I had to call to him so yeah anyways i'm putting on the blue and i had to go in with a little bit of purple see the purple on the brush and there it goes again <laughs> So I'm taking, you see that it, it does get a little bit darker and that's because I mix it with the purple. And then I'm going back in with the pink to mix those colors with the pink. As a, again, I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm blending both of them together. And I went back in with, yeah, there is where I put a little bit of the purple. Blend it out. And then I I went back in with some blue. Yeah, right, there is where I went back with the blue. So I'm taking a clean blending brush just to blend everything together. There's absolutely nothing, no eyeshadow on the brush. It's a clean brush. I'm just using it to blend all the shades together. I went back in with some blue again. Alright, so I did go off camera and do my wing liner, the black wing, sorry, the black wing liner. And now I'm using my wing liner, the white one. This is a J Cat brand. The thing I don't like with this one though is that whatever shade I put it against, it sometimes tend to suck up the shade, the shade color so if you guys have any suggestions on wing liners that i can try please leave it down below in the comment section this was kind of difficult for me you know you gotta get it precise and i'm doing it on camera it's kind of difficult for me to do it on camera. I don't know what it does, but it was a challenge. Listen, the other eye was a challenge. Like, I couldn't do the other eye on camera. I had to come off and do it. It was giving me a little bit of a challenge. At one point here, I think I had messed up too. But you see how I correct it. I'm just making sure everything is precise and the white liner is very bold because as I said whenever I put it down on an eyeshadow it tends to suck the color when it dries so when it did dry down I just went over it and here is where I realized that was a little mistake so I just put some concealer on the brush clean up the top part and went back in with the blue eyeshadow so that the concealer doesn't show so that's what I'm doing right now
Yes, I'm applying my primer right now. Other products that I use will be listed down below. So check out the description box to see the products. This primer is a very good primer. I I do recommend it for persons who have oily skin. It 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 is really matte. It's the Rimmel London Matte Primer, and I'm going in with my foundation. This foundation, if you do want a full coverage foundation, this is not foundation for you. It does not hide spots. And I'm okay with that, so that's why I continue using it. But if you want a full coverage foundation, you can either try the Superstay, Superstay or Milani. You can try those too. Um, it is matte, however, so... You, if you do have a problem with it not hiding your spots but you want a matte foundation you can try this one this is the cover girl full spectrum foundation and i i had already put down my concealer however i didn't use concealer this time i had a lighter shade foundation so i use it to highlight so that's where i'm sitting right now then I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. I use the darker shade first. And then I go in with the lighter shade. A little bit above the dark one. The lighter shade kind of tones it down. So that's why I, I like going in with it. I use the other side of the brush to put it on the lighter shade. So yeah, I'm just contouring my face and I'm going to do my nose, you know, Truman was like a bit out there, yeah, so <laughs> I gotta do this step. <laughs> See what makeup does? Make my nose look slimmer. <laughs> so I'm taking my NYX. Um, what's this again? My NYX Jumbo Pencil in white. I use it at the bottom of my eyes. Where my bottom lashes are. Just to bring up the shade. The shadow that I'm going to use. I want it to really, really pop. So I use this first i put this down first instead of concealer i'm going to take the blue shimmer shade in the zulu palette and put on top of that i forgot to show you guys my bad or i did yeah, I did. There we go. That shade. So I'm just putting that on. I really, really love this look. Hey, yeah, yeah. Listen, I was enjoying making this video it was a whole vibe trust me whenever my looks turn out this bomb trust me nobody can talk to me like you have to come good <laughs> no but i'm joking <laughs> but like for real i was feeling this look yeah it's a whole mood so i spray my face with the sasha fix it spray I'm actually out. You guys can recommend another um, setting spray that I can try. A matte one. I want to try something new. Yeah, girl. Get it. Get it. So, I'm just pressing in the setting spray in my face with my beauty blender. And this is like my favorite part. Second favorite part because my first favorite part is the eyeshadow. The second favorite part is highlighting and that's the milani highlighting palette as i said i leave all the 
correct names of the products down in the description bar so you can check it out yeah so the video is basically finished it want to charge baby all right don't worry we're leaving out shortly so you won't carry that with you mm -hmm. Guys, check out my logo. <laughs> so this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications to be notified when I upload. Follow your girl on social media. Follow my business page. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.